Now see we have to graph the inverse of this given function f. Okay. Uh, first let's note this that uh, since the graph passes the horizontal line test the inverse is going to be available. Alright. We always have to make sure of this point. Okay. That is the function is invertible before we try to graph the inverse of the function. Okay. Remember that the inverse is simply a reflection of this graph by the graph of the line y equals x. So first let's go ahead and uh, graph the line y equals x. So how would we do that? We'll just go ahead and construct a line through these points and uh, this is our line y equals x and then we, we are going to go ahead and graph this function, uh, sorry, uh, reflect this function by this line, okay? So we'll reflect everything that's in here, all right? So here it's reflected. Now, notice what has been done is this, that is say, you know, this point has coordinates of what? Negative two, one. So what happens during this process? That the reflection by this line just carries this point to what? To the point one, negative two. That is the, the coordinates of these points are switched, all right? So you can see right here that the point negative two, one has been, uh, has landed at where? Has gone to this point one negative two all right so and for the other points that are not so, so clearly visible you can just go ahead and use approximate values because in this uh, in this question graph is the only thing you got all right now see we want to graph the tangent line at negative 2 1 in this case in the absence of any equation or anything we will do the best that we can do it graphically all right and uh, then after that say we have to find the slope of this line uh, in this case we are going to turn a little lucky because we can see very easily that uh, for a run of four units what are we getting? We are getting a rise of how many? Two units when we go along this line, right? Okay, so here we have a rise of two units, okay? Uh, that means the slope of this line is what? Uh, sorry, the slope of this line is uh, uh, two over four that is approximately 0 0.5 okay but and say the points were not really or, or the rise or run are not that easily readable here then we can go ahead and uh, use approximate values the best we can all right so what we did we sketched a tangent line and we went ahead and found the slope again with the best of the visual ability in this case the points were whole numbers or I'm sorry the points were uh, integers that we were looking at so the situation was lucky but if we are not that lucky we will go ahead and use the approximation as best as we can all right I just noticed a mistake in the way I wrote uh, this uh, statement I should have written that uh, the slope uh, is 2 over 4 that is uh, 0 0.5 remember making these parentheses around that's that's the way we make precise statement for the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f f at this particular point so forgive me for that lapse that time okay see we have to graph the line that's tangent to 
the graph of the inverse at the point 1, negative 2. We can go ahead and make an approximate graph again. Or since we already worked at making this graph of tangent line at, um, at f to a point where these coordinates were just reversed, we can simply again reflect the graph of this tangent line by the line y equals x again as you see here and you can notice that in this case what happens if we make a runoff how many one units then we do what we get a rise of two units right oops sorry about that okay then we get a rise of two units right so run of one creates a rise of two units and uh, then the slope of this line is what slope is two which you can see is the reciprocal of this slope of the tangent at corresponding point uh, to the graph of f all right this is one half and this is two okay so i hope this helped you in understanding that number eight on your assignment okay if it did not let me know thank you